Hello everyone and welcome to QR Code Sunday. This is once again a collab with the Candle de Cyprus and we are going to scan two codes. Now, um, you saw from our community post, we posted like the Olympic rings and a lot of people were confused by it. And it's because you're gonna be showing off the QR codes for actually the two bases that come in that set which is, I believe, what is it? Um, first one, which is Rock Tavor R3. And we're gonna first show this off quickly, just us scanning it. So Rock Tavor R3. And as you can see, it is, it looks so, it's like the reverse color scheme, basically. And it's scan. So this bay is just the reverse color scheme of it. And I'm just gonna quickly scan it. And we're going to scan the other one which is, which is Cognite C3, which is not the reverse color scheme. It's, uh, I gotta check the parts just to double check. But basically it's this two pack that comes with like four other uh, sets of, um, I, I just lost it. It's not, it's not ring, it's um, frames, frames. Well, they call it two parts for it to this, but um, yeah, so it is, oh, it's two Meteor, Altered Cognite, and that's Hunter on it. That does, okay. So then after the other one, Rock Tibor R3, seven, Cross Atomic. So you got those two, and then after you got the other sets of um, frames, which I believe, what is it? It should be like, um, I'll probably check in a second, but uh, first let's go on to our main account. So actually, before I continue, I just wanted to mention something else. It's that um, we did see this uh, Sprise in S3, and we also did see, which I'm willing to go, this, was it Garuda? I don't think it was, was it? Yeah, we saw this alternate Garuda, so I don't know if it's gonna be another one of these packs uh, where it's gonna be like that. But, um, oh, also Doom Sizer D3. So this is the Cognite. We'll do battle with this one first exhibition battle and well you're gonna go with a uh, random opponent so out of both of them i gotta say probably cognite's my favorite i like the purple with the yellow and how it blends well we're going against rip fire evil pharaoh Alrighty, so uh, let's just try to get the launcher ready first round so we're gonna go with uh, stamina. So ready, three, two, one. So, okay, now we have it launched. So now we're just going around the stadium. Okay, that's a hit right there. Okay, we're just going around. So I'm gonna get these orbs. Okay, it's a few hits. Let's try it again. Okay, we defeated it. So, the end of this month, we're getting, um, the Hell Salamander. And I can't wait for that. We're also doing a lot of cool stuff, like, um, we teased some mods that we're doing. Like, uh, one is a Requiem mod, which we, um, attached, um, the Lunar, uh, dra the Metal Dragons onto the lair. But it required a lot of work just to do so, just to get to that point. And there's also another one, which I'm not too sure if we showed, which is a Bloody Longinus mod. But uh, both are really awesome. So you should see that later this week. I also did mention in our original level chip unboxing slash review, we are getting another level chip. So we'll be able to show off if that other level chip is different. And also just have an extra one just for future battles. But uh, yeah. We are still working on a lot of stuff. Obviously, we're busy. Obviously, with the time of year, with a lot of priorities that we have to focus on. But, um, you know, we're gonna try our best. There's a lot of stuff that's going on on the side, which um, you might hear from us, you might hear from someone else. But, uh, I guess just stay tuned. Like, uh, specifically, what I'm talking about is just um, collabs. I just don't wanna say specifically or get the wrong details right away, because I'm not too sure if, um, other side wants to do a video, we're gonna do a video first, so it's more or less what I just mean. But, uh, 
Not really too much to talk about with um, all the stuff that's uh, going on. Like, um, other than this package and a few other things, but uh, that's really it. Oh, obviously we lost that round. You know, I'm gonna make my comeback. Ghost attack. Get ready. So obviously subscribe to Cyprus, by the way, because guess what? This hits to release, what, June? So now you get the QR codes really early thanks to Cyprus. Of course, credit him when, um, if you do use the code. So, you know, it puts a lot of hard work just to get these. But it's really interesting. I do hope to see that I am right and maybe it's Ryzen and Garuda for another one of these packs, like these quad ring packs. Which actually now I'm pretty sure it will be because I don't think I saw them in a two pack. Correct me if I'm wrong. So I think that Legend Sprising and Garuda might be in a, another two pack just like um, the quad ring. Because there's also that Doom size that has nothing on it, which looks really nice. Okay, old Para was attacking, so let's see if we can block it. Okay, we lost. So uh, that was Cognite. Really like it. So again, when you look at the alternate skins, you got... Oh, I forgot that one's glitched. You got the purple one, and then after for this one, it's just too meteor. But uh, for Hunter, there's really a lot of variations we got into it. So I'm trying to wonder, because it's really a nice combination. Because these bays are basically sort of like their version of random booster bays in a sense. Okay, it's not Blast Genius, not that Garuda, it's not that Sprizen, it's not the Hyrus, not Drawn to Ref, not Kalzar, it's not Feltrek. Uh, it should be down here. Oh no, I'm looking for Rock to War. <laughs> right, right. Um, something else. Um, what was I going to say? There's been a lot of comments. Uh, we're still getting it, even though we explained it before. But um, it's the ad coins thing when we're in the store. It's just because um, we have an old version of the app, so if we ever use a transfer code, it's just because it has that feature on it. So it doesn't really do much either way, because like we already do this avatar track thing. Since we have like basically every single bay, we can just do a lot of avatar tracks, and we get like a lot of bay coins pretty easily. So, make sure I suck a rock to war. Actually, no, I want to show it first. So, variations to it. Variations to it. I want to show the other colors, please. Um, oh yeah, we're missing one. It's like purple one. But, seven cross atomic. Looks nice. Avatar track, we'll do it right then. I think we already did it, actually. Oh no, we did, yeah. All right, well. <laughs> We're gonna do a battle, exhibition match. Uh, we'll go with random opponent again. So I guess maybe comments in the comment section below which one is your favorite, Cognite or Rock Tavor? Oh, we're going against Tyrus, nice. Speaking of which, we're hopefully gonna try to hunt for more of the other ones, like what is it, Dial Meads? Like, it's tough too, cause like they're really hard to find, but they look so interesting. I am wondering too, whenever we get to Cho Z or whatever we're gonna call it, uh, what Hasbro's gonna do if they're gonna do maybe more switch, custom switch strike bays, I mean. Like ones that have never come out and they'll just do like sort of like original ones. I would also say that um, it would be really nice, really, really nice if we could maybe get like Baldor or Baldorov and like Materios. You know? Or like, um, what is it, Dual Eclipse, or like, um, Dual Artemis and Dual Apollo, which you could do a two-pack for that, right? So there's nothing really lost if you do a two-pack with it. I'd really love that, but I'm not too sure if they're gonna do it. Cause like, cause with Dual Eclipse, the, the other two versions, let's refer to Dual Eclipse for now, it's like, the bay has a QR code already on it, so... If they're gonna do that switch strike mechanic, I don't think it's possible. So that's why I don't know if they're gonna do it. I wish they did. It's just with those QR codes, they can't. 
which I guess with, um, that's why more or less when I'm talking about, when we're talking about Chosie for Hasbro, that's why I think if they do a level chip, it's very possible that it could be separated because the QR code's already in there and you don't have to remove like, um, the chip on top just to, um, like the customize it. So, I'm hoping maybe there's going to be that level chip customization. Like, I honestly don't care if it's in a set or something, as long as we get it. So, ultimate theory, which you're probably not going to see this for at least a year, to actually just have the base in our hands. I feel like the first set is probably going to be the Achilles and like Valtrax, V4, whatever they call it. But I think that in that set, it's going to maybe have a level chip with it. I hope so, and I believe it's like a Zenki prediction right here. So maybe we get lucky. So Rock to Vore, Exhibition Match, Random Opponent again. I'll do another one with Rock to Vore, just because I'm with Cognat, I'm not going to do another one. Specifically also with Cho Z, we're, we're trying to do a lot more mods with it, but we are trying to think obviously of what we could do, how it's interesting, or at least just something that's crazy. It doesn't always have to be like a thousand percent, oh it's the, it's the original idea, it can always be like our own take on it. But I might also say, you know, um, you know, comment in the comment section below, like, which videos, like, um, you really like to see from us. Do you like to see just Chosey Battle? Do you like to see some Hasbro stuff, like, Switch Strike stuff? Do you like to see just these mod videos? I just want to get maybe a general idea. Not because we're going to, well, probably because we will, we will do more of it if people will really like it. But also just to see, um, no, yeah, basically that. Just see the general consensus of uh, what people really like from us. Because it's interesting to see. I would also say that um, I know it's like very far away. It's like a little bit more than a month. But expect for the end of June, crazy, crazy, crazy things to happen. Because... That's when I have free time actually to myself. I don't have to worry about anything else. I can just focus on the channel. So, a lot of stuff planned, and we're hoping we can execute it. Like I just used this, the Switch Strike Shield, and I used it again. Tell me why every time I do a random opponent, it's always Evil Para. <laughs> but, um, I actually wanna, I'll probably just do a community post or something like that, just to get an idea. But I'm having fun with this stuff. It's really cool. Oh, I guess I'll answer some other stuff since people are wondering. Uh, why does uh, Sprise and Requiem, the, the, what do you call it, the metal god chip in the, or the metal switch strike chip in the middle, um, why is it not painted? Because, that, th there you go. <laughs> it doesn't really make a difference to me, right? I don't really care if it's painted or not, because it still looks like Sprite and Requiem. And if it performs better than the Bay, I'm all for it. Even if it doesn't, like, I'm, I don't really care too much. Like, yeah, it is like, it, it does look nice with the blue thing in the metal, but it doesn't, it doesn't change anything. And plus, you can always just paint on it. Like, find um, proper paint for it and just do it on the metal. Or you can do what we're probably going to do and just mod it. <laughs> Which actually, funny enough, is that um, we're probably going to actually um, do modded battle... Well, because we're reaching the conclusion. So just a quick recap of everything. Um, we're going to try to do um, a lot more modded battles. Because we, we mod old Hasbro a Swiss Strike base. So when those actual bases come out, we'll do battles against them. But um, other stuff. Uh, expect end of June awesome stuff. Um, comment who which bay out of the two is your favorite and why. Also, maybe um, I'll do a community post on what type of content you really want to see from us. It's like already 12 minutes, so I don't want to like keep it running for so long. So just thank you to Cypress. Give his channel some love, because honestly, without him, this community would have never progressed that far with the app. Like, I'm going to be real with you right now. Without him, we would not have, like, I would say almost half the codes that we have now. Because there's a lot of elemental ones. I'm not too sure how many, but... Thank him so much for getting the codes early. Subscribe to him, and as always, have an awesome, blissful day.